For our senior design project, we were tasked with resizing and redesigning components of the full coverage lift magnet offered by Eries. Eries is a manufacturing company headquartered right here in Erie, Pennsylvania. They specialize in material separation, metal detection, magnetic lifting devices, and material handling equipment for processing industries. One of the products offered by Eries is the full coverage lift magnet. This device is used to lift and transport large steel plates primarily to and from plasma cutting machines or burn tables. The machine works by using magnets supported by a back bar and a grid to lift these plates. The back bar is actuated using pneumatic cylinders, which raise and lower the magnets. When raised, the workpiece is released from the magnets by a stripper plate, which separates the two. The main goal of the project as tasked by Eries was to increase the size of the back bar and grid assembly shown here to increase the device's size and weight capacity. Eries desired an increase from their 60 by 60 unit to a 60 by 80 unit. These units are typically joined together to create a larger machine as shown here. After several meetings and a site visit with Eries, we defined some other goals of the redesign. Minimizing cost, maximizing ease of manufacturing by reducing custom and complex parts, and maximizing stability by minimizing deflection, the main obstacle to this project. If the machine was simply extended, lifting a heavier load would lead to excess bending of the back bar and cause an uneven lift, which could lead to catastrophic failure. The same goes for the pneumatic cylinder placement, which needed to be optimized to provide an even lift. To achieve this, the components for the back bar and grid assembly were redesigned and analyzed. The team reorganized the grid assembly to a new 5x6 design and resized the members, making them more equipped to handle this heavier load which increased from 1,875 pounds to 2,450 pounds. The cylinder placement was also optimized. After this, the cylinder sizing was investigated along with the assembly, welding, and fasteners. This was all done to ensure the existing parts and assembly techniques could handle the increase in capacity. After the components were redesigned, the team used finite element analysis to compare the new design to the old one. We found that despite an increase in size and lifting capacity, the deflection in the back bar and grid assembly decreased, leading to a more even lift and an overall safer product. This was all done using the same materials, custom parts, and assembly techniques of the old design, minimizing the cost and complexity of the machine.